Welcome back to Powerhouse. It's an exciting day here at the Schmincke House where they're having their new furnace installed and tested. We'll be speaking with John Von Harse of Energy Stewards International. Let's see what he's doing. Hey, John, it looks like you're hard at work. Well, thank you. Yes, we are. What type of furnace are you installing here today? This is a furnace. It's a natural gas furnace. It's a high efficiency, 96% unit. Okay. Now, once all of this equipment is in place, what happens next? Uh, they'll start the unit up, so it's winter time, so they'll turn on the heater side, they'll, they'll heat it up, make sure that it's running properly, and they'll run a final test on that. Uh, they'll pull information from that, that, they'll compare that information to how well the, previ uh, the unit that they replaced was operating, and then they'll determine whether or not that it's acceptable and move on. Is that something that the homeowner has to ask for? Or is that something that you'll do automatically? No, they should ask for that. I mean, there are there are different kinds of contractors out there. Some certainly choose to hold themselves accountable to a higher higher standard of quality, and uh, that's this sort of service something that they should ask for. Okay, why don't you just explain the process? Walk us through each step, and you teach bet. us about what you you're going to do. It's all about airflow. Airflow leaving the furnace and making it all the way to the rooms. That maintains the temperature, comfort, and air quality in the rooms. And typically what they'll do is they'll drill five holes uh, at different places, exiting the unit into the ductwork, and they'll take pressure tests. They'll take a couple uh, temperatures as well here at the equipment. They'll move upstairs into the room, and they'll take six temperatures in the room. And then, because this happens to be a natural gas unit, they'll also check the gas consumption. They'll go out to your meter, and they'll, they'll clock the, uh, the gas consumption on the furnace. They'll stick that into a software program, and that'll spit out a result. And if that result is above a certain acceptable level, then it's considered a pass. If not, then they'll come back down here, and they'll tune it within the manufacturer specifications, of course, and they'll get it up to standard, and then eventually it'll be a good install and they'll move on. That's great. So the homeowner will actually have something tangible at the end of it. Yes, yes. The, uh, that's the nice thing about using the software and the computer, right? So you have all kinds of reports and there are reports that they'll use for their systems, but they, they also provide the information to the homeowner. They can email it to them or they can print it out and hand it to them. The homeowner can certainly keep it. Uh, it certainly elevates their confidence in what they purchased. That's yeah. a great tool to have. Now, will you sit down with the homeowner or will the dealer sit down with the homeowner and talk about maintenance and what they can do to maintain their equipment so that it, it runs efficiently? Yes, they will. And, and this step I, I highly recommend. You've just purchased a unit. It's just gone through a final testing process. It's been determined to be operating at peak performance. But that won't always be the case. It will degrade over time. It's a big piece of mechanical equipment. Again, like a vehicle. Things are just simply going to happen. You have to take care of it. So things like changing the filters based upon filters that, the, that your contractor recommends or, or the manufacturer's data recommends. Uh, and certainly twice a year having your contractor come out uh, and do a clean and check or a tune-up. Uh, dirt and grime, that tends to be what really messes up with your heating and cooling system. So it seems like a simple step, but it, it makes a big difference. And so making sure that that unit is properly maintained will extend its life, make it more safe, more comfortable, more energy efficient. We can't stress enough how important it is to change your furnace filters. A clogged filter can restrict the airflow to the furnace, causing it to shut off. Uh, here's the big question. What will the efficiency be on this? So it will certainly be more efficient. Uh -huh. The um, energy bills will reflect that. Yes, the energy bills will reflect that. There's no question about it. And, uh, you know, many homeowners choose to turn up their thermostats and get more comfortable because they've just, now they've got a bit more efficient unit. Some will choose to capture that savings. That's entirely up to them. Okay. And the last question, how long can we expect a furnace to last these days? Well, that depends on how well you took care of it. And Good point. <laughs> and certainly the one that you purchased to begin with. But uh, let's say 15 years is a good number right now. Okay. This is great information. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks so much. And thank you. For more information about how your furnace works and other ways to save energy, visit our website at powerhousetv.com.